Good morning, guys. Today's episode is about kitchen remodels, the process when it comes to the construction part. You know, if you're a homeowner who've never done this before, you're wondering, well, what's the steps? I mean, when I start, you know, the demo, who comes in first, who comes in second? So I understand that that can get you worried or overwhelmed. So what I normally do with my clients when we set the starting date on a project is I print them a form. I created a fun form to explain what comes first, what comes second, and I'm gonna run you through the different stages when it comes to the construction part of your kitchen remodel. So stay tuned. So we're in the demo stage, so follow along. This is when we're coming to your kitchen and we'll demolish everything. Walls, ceiling, flooring, or depending on the situation of what we're gonna be doing. But bringing your kitchen back to the beams, opening up the walls so we can re rough for everything and work properly. Clean job site, clean slate, and we'll start the kitchen remodel process from that point on. In a rough carpentry stage, right? So now what we do in the kitchen remodel process is any, um, you know, uh, reframing that needs to be done, we'll fix that, move in windows if that's part of the uh, plan and, or the change of the layout. In this specific kitchen, we had got an architect so we can get the plans on removing a load bearing wall to open up the kitchen to the dining room and making it into an open concept. So we worked based on the plans and then installed the header and the posts for an open concept. We've moved the window from one location to another and that is inside the process of your uh, rough carpentry stage. So once the rough carpentry work is done, reframing, changing windows, removing the walls, all that basically has been completed, then the mechanical part comes. Mechanical is plumbing, electrical, and HVAC if needed. So we call the plumber to lower and fix the drain and the water line because we're gonna be putting a farmhouse sink and we had relocated the plumbing based on the new location of the window. Of course, the electrician comes in, runs and put in whatever recess lights or fixtures in the ceiling for lighting. Make sure that the outlet locations is good, GFIs, all the electrical lines is right. And then in this specific kitchen also, we have we are not having a stove on a wall. We're having a cooktop with a downdraft, a nice button you click, you know, the vent comes out to you. So we had the plumber relocate the gas line in the island. We had basically the plans and we made sure the location of that is in the right place. And then we had the HVAC also re-rough for the vent through the exterior wall for the, um, downtraft that's all part of the mechanical part of the kitchen remodel process my favorite part of the kitchen remodel process is getting these forms from the code officials when you get these white forms or sometimes purple i don't know from code officials then you know that you've passed all your inspections there's a schedule that follow that will follow for when it comes to inspections like framing rough electrical plumbing hvac um insulation building all that good stuff so those inspections is what we're looking for and those forms that we're looking for which is the approvals and once we have those then you know that your kitchen remodel process is going to roll through really nicely because then at that point we can rock up the walls and your kitchen can start to take shape for this specific project now that we've passed all the inspections on monday we're going to start rocking up all the walls meaning sheet rocking the walls and ceiling and move it along with the kitchen remodel so stay tuned last video um, I explained that in that specific project, we're actually going to be rocking up the walls on Monday. So from that point on, I want to show you on that fun form that I've created for you guys of what goes after that. So once we are drywalls, drywall taped and spackled nice and clean, there's an option. You know, we can have painting done before the flooring. We can have the flooring done before painting. I personally think that doesn't make a difference. Um, so. Once we spackled on my form, I have flooring, regardless of the type, whether it's hardwood, tile, laminate, all that good flooring will be installed, priming and painting, like I said, vice versa. Once flooring and, and painting has been done, then we come in and start installing your cabinets as per the design elevations that we have put together. Um, once the cabinets are installed, which that takes about a day or two, uh, then we'll make sure that you get we get the appliances pre-arranged for the delivery so the appliance place can bring them in and slide them right in its place, the stove, the fridge, all of that good stuff. And then also we'll pre-arrange for the countertop people to come in and to do a template, meaning measurements of your cabinetry based on a new layout or existing layout. That will take a little bit of a time depending on the countertop place that we'll use. Um, but once they template and they come back and install the countertop, 
follows that is the backsplash installation, you know, regardless of what style, you know, the tile professional comes in and does the backsplash installation. At that point, you're near completion. Your mechanical guys, or our mechanical guys, I should say, will come back in so the electrician can do his final electrical hookups. Uh, the plumber can connect all the new fixtures. HVAC can do his thing. And then also I always recommend for the painter that's gonna paint or if yourself, you're gonna paint. Um, we say, you gotta make sure that you put in that there's gonna be some touch-ups. Obviously so many people have came in from painting stage all the way towards the end. So there's gonna be some scratches. So we'll do a little bit of a touch-up paint. And then at that point, your kitchen is ready to use, but we wanna close the books in the township that we are working in. So we'll call for final inspections building plumbing electrical all that good stuff that we had prior we'll call them again to tell them that we're ready close up the books give us the co for this project okay guys so i'm gonna leave you with the last word here from knr master carpentry me fred you know this kitchen remodel process is really fun and it's easy it shouldn't be stressful it shouldn't be something that you go to sleep and you're worried okay it will be if you don't hire the right people because this whole process depends on one very important thing which is communication between Fred and a client or whoever you're working with, okay? If you're working with someone that you cannot get a hold of, you cannot communicate with, you cannot ask a question and get an answer right away, then you're gonna be really stressed out. So picking out the right guys for your project when it comes to kitchen remodel is very, very important because that can make or break the entire project, especially your peace of mind. So thank you for watching 